Are you hungry? Yes! Hey everyone, what up? Matt Kaiser here. Guess who's back? Back again. Arise is back. Tell a friend. Guess who's back? 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 It's Tales of Rise Beyond the Dawn. So yeah, Tales of Rise Beyond the Dawn is a brand new DLC that just been dropped. And honestly, it was quite surprising, but at the same time, not surprising. Cause for those who are a little bit out of the loop, Tales of Rise Beyond the Dawn was a trademark at Bandai Namco's uh, servers a while back. And obviously we didn't know what this thing would be, especially since during the uh, marketing and release of Arise, there would be said originally that there'll be no DLC, no expansion DLC, no as well as sequel, prequel or anime, which was quite interesting. Though I think with Arise's success, it does seem that things have taken quite a turn. But before we begin, if you like what you've seen here, then by all means, like the video, click that subscribe button if you're new, and hit that bell notification icon if you want to get an update by all future Tales of Rise Beyond the Dawn updates from yours truly. Not only that, but I'm also aiming to reach a milestone of 500 subscribers, and if I do reach a said milestone, I'll be able to play and reveal or many consider to be the best JRPG ever, which is Chrono Trigger. So by all means, do yourself a favor. Now, back onto the video. So yeah, Tales of Rise Beyond the Dawn. So originally, some people thought it would be either a sequel, prequel, DLC, all that stuff. So I'm glad it's confirmed to be sort of a DLC that's a story expansion DLC. But gladly, it's not like taking the time over like a brand new Tales game. And for those who are a little bit uh, not knowing about this, but it's no stranger that Tells has sort of dabbled in the whole expansion DLC things, like in the case of Grace's F, when Grace's F came to PS3, which was in a sense a re-release of Grace's on the Wii. It obviously had a brand new story arc called Lineages and Legacy, dubbed the future arc which was a brand new epilogue and it involved extra 10 hours of content and as well as some interesting and fun gameplay choices as well as in my opinion even a better story than the base game <laughs> not only that but also this Steve did have a dlc with Alicia's, alicia's story and that one was uh, not that great but this one, especially since, you know, it's been two years and they've gone silent, it does seem that they've quite, quite have some juice around it. Especially given the fact that this game, this DLC, it's expected to be having about over 20 hours of game content, as well as new side quests, new dungeons, new boss fights, as well as an epic new story involving this girl called Nazimil, who's apparently the daughter of both a Renan Lord and Danon, which makes her quite a character that many of the civilians and inhabitants of the new world not really favor for. Not only that, but this game will also have things like new costumes, especially especially these six new ones right here which look absolutely amazing as well as having things like a silver weapon collection which contains weapons of each character but in a very shiny silvery color there's also a support pack which will contain about five fifty thousand gold as well as a five plus for level up and a hundred plus cp and a complete fishing gear set not only that but there was also stated that this game will have no not really transfer your levels or save files while it mainly just have things like it will have its own set level in a sense so it really doesn't mean that you can you know if you've leveled up like you don't have to level up all the way to like level 
99, which was the max level to play this. So it does seem that sort of set sort of stand alone in a sense. So kind of like on how the Xenoblade expansions are, where they have their own self levels compared to the main games in a sense. Which is not bad, I would say. It's not bad, I would say. I mean, it's not too hard to grind in the Rise, in my opinion, but I do understand that obviously people aren't gonna, you know, have to grind so much just to play this DLC, especially since it's a post game. Not only that, but yeah, obviously, this new story between the whole after the events of the of the after the event of the main game it does seem very interesting with you know the gang getting back together and helping out this little girl and apparently she might be connected to the likes of say for one who was you know technically Alfin's rival and one of the main villains of tales of rise who spoilers kind of died so there might be a chance he might come back or something but yeah we got a little bit look of the new dungeons which absolutely look amazing and yeah this new character honestly Nazmil is looks pretty cute i mean she kind of reminds me of um laffy said from tales of Berseria from the resemblance but yeah honestly this was a good uh, this was a good trailer and honestly i'm really really surprised that they would do this like honestly it does seem also that the quality of the cutscenes has been further improved and yeah honestly this is something that i think tells fans should rejoice a little bit especially given the fact that uh, aside from the rather disappointing Tales of Symphonia remaster. We haven't had much Tales content as we was expecting after Arise's breakout hit. So, honestly, having a DLC story expansion is a win in my book, and I'm honestly looking forward to see what they will unveil in this new storyline. And honestly, I'm just happy, really, really happy to, you know, reunite with my beloved fam again like Alfin, Kisara, Dolim, Law, Rinwell and of course my beloved Xion. And honestly there's also further fact that in Tokyo Game Show there will be a special second anniversary broadcast for Tales of Rise which will reminisce about well the original game and its development with the Japanese voice actors but could also give a little bit more information about Beyond Dawn. Currently, as the time of this video, I haven't seen any pre-orders, at least on the on the Western side of things, but that could be changed later on. But overall, I'm just really, really happy that Arise is getting another DLC. Like I'm not against it, honestly. Like as much as I really like the game story, I do I don't mind having it another like another tale for us to revisit and thankfully it is not taking over the likelihood of a brand new Tales game because honestly the prior Tales games technically had like sequels or prequels like Zillia like the Zillia duology and Zisteria and Bezeria duology so I think Arise being on its own and just having just this DLC would really just you know wrap a neat bow on it and also hopefully maybe even answer some questions and honestly I have nothing more to say other than that it just looks amazing like honestly Tales of Rise was one of the best looking games on the PlayStation 4, 5, Xbox Series 1 all that good jazz especially in 2021 for JRPG and this honestly just looks so damn good I can't wait to explore the new environments, the new dungeons take on the new bosses and I'm hoping we get like new art or new mechanics slightly that will improve upon it from the base game but I'm but you know I'm just happy I'm just really happy so anyway that's it gonna be for me and until then see you guys in the next video Matt Kaiser out